Hi, if you want to add Google reCAPTCHA into your website or into your login page and why this is required reCAPTCHA into your page because it will minimize your spam login or minimize your risk of your login page and this is more beneficial for your login page. You know, let us see live demo first and after that we will see how to configure this Google reCAPTCHA into your login page by using this HTML PHP, right? So let us see live demo first here. I already created live demo for you. So here you can see here I take this sample. Suppose I take this email ID and this password, right? Once you configure this reCAPTCHA, it will protect here that will display like protected by reCAPTCHA and also here you can see I open my inspect element here I also show you how this is work right so when I click on this login now at that time it will pass one token and that token will configure or check backend side and then it will display or it will return some score and here we will see what is our score so this login successfully and here based on this score here you can see my score is 0 0.9 so in the by using this reCAPTCHA we will see the score so here my score is 0 0.9 it means this is human writing or human will access this login page but if this login page will use by any bot or some spam so or repeatedly use your login page to trying to login at that time this score will be less of 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.3 so we check that score at backend side by using this reCAPTCHA and this Google reCAPTCHA will return or will generate this score right so how this score will generated and how this will work so we will see step by step right so how is it possible and also we will see how to configure this whole code into your web page so here you can see i created one live blog for you so you can see in a step one you need to create or you need to generate your key for reCAPTCHA so you must have to go this page reCAPTCHA admin console so I go to this page here and you have to register your new website like suppose I already created this reCAPTCHA for my website like signer web reCAPTCHA so I take label as a signer web reCAPTCHA so you, here you can pass this signer web captcha I already created that my label and all that so I again not created this you must have to select this I already so here we are using a reCAPTCHA v3 so add so we are select that and add your domain name here and enter your email id and click on this so once you submit so once you submit at that time one side key and secret key will generate it so here you can see I already created so I am not again created that file so I go to v3 admin console so here I already created signer web reCAPTCHA so I click on that and click on this setting button and here you can see my key already generated like side key is this one and my secret key is this one so you must have to create your side key and secret key first right so once you create that uh, side key and secret key now you need to create one simple login page so how this so you can you know how to create a login page so simply I created that login page here so now here you can see I created one folder and inside that folder I created one login page like 
Google recapture.php. You must have to take one file and inside that file, you have to create one login page, right? So here you can see, I also mentioned all this required library, right? So here you can see, you must have to put this library into your file. I also explain. So here you can see, first we have include one jquery min.js file, which is required to writing some JavaScript code. And after that, I use some bootstrap CSS and bootstrap min.js file, which is required for designing purpose. And the most important library, you must have to use this recaptcha v3 JS file. Here you can see, you must have to include this file and here you can see our site key you must have to pass. This is your site key. Here you can see this y double v. So sorry. Here you can see my site key I have passed here. Render is equal to after that you have to pass your site key. And that site key you can copy from here, right? I already mentioned that your site key, right? Once you site key configured in your code, after that you have to design one simple login page. So here you can see we take one text box like email and second one for password and create one button like login, login now. So here you can see this is my login page and here I take two text box and one button and inside this text box I take id is equal to email and ID is equal to password. So this is how you must have to pass this ID and name. And after that, you need to create one button like uh, login now. And based on whenever you click on that button, we pass or we call one method like login. So here you can see I also mentioned that in my blog. So simply you need to design one page and after that create one method like login so here i also declare one method like login and now in this method we are using this recaptcha method and inside this recaptcha we are using execute method and inside this execute method we are again pass our side key in that side key you must have to copy paste from here so you must have to copy this site key. Here you can pass this. And by using this recaptcha.execute, we generate one token, right? So I already told you, or here that token we have passed inside this Ajax block. So here you can see that token we have passed here. So Whenever I click on login button at that time here, I also print that my token here. You can see I print that uh, token in my console.log. So here you can see when I click on login now, here you can see my mail ID is passed and after that I also pass my password and there is one token generated. That token we will use in a backend side so once so you must have to pass your email password and one more is token so these three required for your login now you must have to write your or you need to create one file like login check dot php so where we will check our score this is a by you by using recaptcha so so let us see first we need to create our file like login check.php so i already created that file so you must have to check your login details 
into this website and this website will confirm or will check your score so here you can see we are using curl method by using this curl method we are passing this or we are verifying our login details or will check our all the tokens and all that so here you can see secret it means this is your secret key this secret key you must have to use here so here you must have to use your secret key here we are using side key and here we are using secret key right so this is how this side key and secret key will use and this here we are using or we are passing our token right now this now here you can see we are passing our secret key and our token and that token passing to this website and this website will return some response right so that response we are check here before login into or before login check into the database we are checking that response here you can see we check that response if is there any robotic process or is there any spam then this success response is zero or if this repeatedly login or something like that at that time your score will be less of 0.4 or 0.3 so we didn't allow to login into your website or into your login page so we are checking here i also explain you or also show you here you can see our score is 0.9 it means our condition is true it means my score is 0.9 it means greater or 0.5 but my score will return if 0.3 at that time my if condition is not true so it will go to the else part and it will show message as a spam submission so this is how this spam or spam login will prevent by using this two response to check response success is equal to 1 and score must be greater or 0.5 once your score will greater of 0.5 it means right now our score is 0.9 it means my score greater of 0.5 so i simply i simply check my email id and password in my database or in my table i also i also declare one simple table here so you must have to create this sample table here so i already created that, that table so you must have to create one table with email password and take one id and i also share some dummy email id and password so you must have to insert this script into your table so once this table created i already share this sql with you and i also whenever we need to get data from the database or check the data into the database you must have to include one database connection file so you must have to create one database connection file so i already created that file here database connection.php file and inside this file you must have to write this code with your host name username password and your database name right once you once you include your database connection file you must have to check your username or sorry your email id and password into your table if your email id or password are there in your table then it will return row count is equal to 1 greater or 1 so it will log in successfully or suppose i am writing wrong password then it will go to else part and invalid login credential so suppose 
now here i writing wrong password here suppose like that and click on login invalid login credential here so here you can see also we can check that invalid login it means i entered password which is wrong right so here i wrongly entered that password here suppose i enter 123456 then it will return login successfully login successfully it means double check right so first we will check our score by using recaptcha google recaptcha and after that we will check your login credential into the table right so this is how this whole code will work right so here you can see all the code i also share with you so here here you can see our log also display here and this is how this google recaptcha will work and i also share entire code with you so you can download this entire code and set up this code into your web page or into your login button or sorry into your login page so if you have any query while set up this code into your website or into your login page please write it down in your comments in comment section so i hope you must have to subscribe our channel i hope you, that will be really benefit for you and thanks for watching this video